Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of house number four. So today we are hopefully gonna get around to the backside of the house and kind of get the main shape kind of taken care of and out of the way. But before we do that, we have a couple more things that we gotta do on the front. And by that is we, had, we kinda gotta finish up the garage area. So what we're gonna do is you're actually gonna start off with your slabs here. And we're actually gonna make a roof that basically is gonna cover the garage. So what we're gonna do is just taking your stone brick stairs just kind of make an outline here, just kind of going around. And we're actually not gonna turn them like this, okay? Uh, so this one right here is actually wrong. We're not gonna turn it like that. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so this here is basically gonna be a stair step. We can connect it with the side of the house. But basically, you're gonna stack it up two blocks, just like this. Uh, and, all right, so on this layer here, we're actually gonna make another window which will add a little bit more design to the house. We're gonna get it directly in the center, so right here. We're gonna make it to where it's five blocks wide. And all you're gonna do is put your brown wool underneath it. And you should have one layer of brown on both sides, like this, stacking up. And then take out your snow, stack it up four. One, two, three, four. Uh, do we actually wanna move it up one more block? Because we want it to be even with this one here. Yeah, so let's move it up one more block. And so we're actually gonna move it back one more block as well if we're doing it that way Do 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 because when you make it it should be even With this right here where everything like that starts So we're just gonna redo the exact same thing again. So now it should be moved up a couple more blocks And now we're gonna redo it. So boop stack it up Just like this your snow goes here and Stack it up four. make sure you do that Come across with your brown wool connecting the two sides together. Do 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 do. Perfect. And now it should be perfectly even. It looks a little bit better. And now we got that resolved. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is kind of a stair step design again. So same way is your slabs are gonna start here on the sides. We're not gonna change anything up. And then we just do our stair step design that we're used to by now, hopefully, because we've been doing it enough. Make sure our slabs like shoot out one block farther than the actual thing itself the actual window I guess might be the best way to put that and then we just come back down again when you get to the center I always say this when I do it just to make sure I don't forget anything uh, you, all you have to do is just make sure you put a slab on top to make it look like it's finished off and of course we're gonna add our snow in here to add just a little bit more detail to the actual outside of the house do do and all you're gonna do is replace that brown wool with snow and it should add just a little bit more detail to your actual house. And voila, so now that's all complete. All you have to do is just extend out your brown wool uh, pretty far back because we wanna make it to where this, this is like how the roofs are going to connect. So I'm gonna move it back about that far. It should be good for now. We can always fine tune it a little bit later on. So how about we get started on the actual house itself and on the sides. So the actual sides of the house are gonna be pretty simple. All you're gonna do is take out your stone, which again, very important. I'm gonna kind of reorganize all my things here. So stone, brown wool, and we're gonna need quartz, and our snow, of course, and our uh, roof materials. And we should be good for now. I'm probably gonna take out some dark oak wood fences, and I think that should be good for now. Okay, so take out your stone. Now we already have two blocks here, so we're gonna start on the third block to make things easy. So come back, so actually, let's just start this brand new. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks, okay? And all we're gonna do is make this into a solid wall, basically. So all we're gonna do is just stack it up. Let me take some more swiftness, that just ran out. And do, 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 just stack it up, going all the way up. And basically what you're gonna do here, okay, is this is actually gonna be pretty simple. We're actually gonna make our stair type design continue going up. So that might sound a little bit confusing, but it really shouldn't be, hopefully. We're just gonna have the stair step design keep going on its way up, just like this. Do, 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 and just continue with how it would go. And the way we're gonna stop it is when we get around, uh, I would say, hmm, where'd be a good place to stop it? And we just kinda continue it for now, I think we'll be good. Do, 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 just like this. And let's stop it there for now. I'm not sure how I, Oh, how high up that is. It's the same level as the actual window right here. 
And then of course we just add in our stairs going up like this. Boom, perfect. All right. And we might even set it up a little bit more later on, but for now I think that should be fine with how it looks. Now when you get up to some of these, all you're gonna do oh, is just connect the roof to them. So our slabs here, we would actually continue the slabs going through that. And then here we would just continue the stairs and they should connect up to the top like that. So now everything's kind of connecting together. Ah, uh, so let's see. Hmm, do we want to keep it going up? And I would say we probably want to keep it going up just for now. Again, we're going to fine tune it a little bit later on, but I think for now we should be good. And just kind of continue it. Do, do, do. And make sure we add in our upside down stairs. Don't want to forget those now, do we? So let's add those in. Do, do, do. And okay. And let's actually extend this out one, two, three more blocks. Sorry if you guys can hear the dogs in the background. They are being very, very loud. And now that should be good for everything else that we're going to get started on. So, how about we start working on the backside of this house. What we're going to do is take out your stone. And we're actually going to have it come all the way out to about right here where the garage door would end. And basically, just to kind of fine tune it, you can just take your stone out and kind of mark it. So it should stop right there. Now you have a perfect rectangle and you can see where everything is going to go. And we're actually gonna make this into a solid wall for now. And we're probably actually gonna add a window in here, but that's a little bit easier to do when you have the wall there. You can just kind of get rid of the blocks that you don't need. So we just stack it up, do, 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 just like that. And then let's add in a couple windows here. So we'll add one right here, so on the third block from the corner. And this one's actually gonna start on the stone because this is actually where the garage is. So we don't want it to be too high up. So just like this, the window should be four blocks tall. And then on your, uh, actually, let's make the window only three blocks tall. So then we just have something like this instead, which still looks good. Add in your dark oak wood fence here in the middle to connect the two. And now we're actually gonna add in a door two blocks away, so right here, and we'll make it two wide, just like this. Take out your white stained glass and what we're gonna do is actually this window's or this door's gonna be a little bit different. Sack it up uh, three blocks, have it come over one just like that. That's where the door is gonna go. Add in a court stair on top of it, just like that. Actually, let's add in a pillar court block on top of the glass first. Sorry for changing my mind so much. I'm just trying to make sure it looks the best. And that should be our finished design for the window. And then here we can just kind of make everything too wide. So all you have to do is take back out your brown wool and just kind of work around everything here. Do, do, do. And just like this. And now it should look a little bit more complete and fine tuned. And perfect. All right, so we're looking pretty good so far. So one of the things I want to do is I want to make another pretty big window on the back side here, even with this one. So I actually want to make the exact same thing. So the way we're going to do that is exactly just remaking it. So we're gonna move it to the back here. So this needs to be come out one more block. And we'll have it come out two blocks from the garage and just make it the exact same window. So two wide on the corners. I'm just going to have it come all the way out to over here, which should be where it ends. And like I said, exact same design, two wide on the windows until you get to here. Actually, that can just go all the way up for now. We can add our snow, one, two, three, four, come five blocks away actually something doesn't seem right there but we again can always fine tune it later on so I'm actually gonna move this one just like that there we go and have the thing come up all the way up on top of the snow we're actually going to make it too uh, too wide on top and then actually add two layers for this next piece just like that with your snow so this window should actually be uh, something seems different. Oh, because that's three wide. That's why. It needs to be two wide on the corners. I forgot I already did that one. And so, boom, perfect, just like that. And then we just connect the two sides together. And voila, now we have the exact same window. Why does something seem different? Something seems like off. Because maybe this needs to be... Because it looks like everything's in the right place. Maybe this needs to be moved over one more. Is maybe that like that's the problem? It, maybe that's what it is, because yeah, this one should be here. There we go. I solved the problem. 
Boop. And then we just add in our dark oak wood fences here. Since we solved that problem, nice and simple. Wasn't actually too complicated. And just finish it off just like this. And that should be exactly how that window looks on both sides. Perfect. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn this back the other way. And as you can tell, this isn't a very wide house. It's actually pretty narrow for how big the house is. But we're actually going to turn it back one more block. Okay. Stack it all the way up and then turn it on that block. And we're actually going to have it come all the way over to the other side, about right here. So it seems pretty good. And all we're going to do is make this completely flat. Now, I know that sounds kind of boring, but that's actually how we want to keep it, in my opinion. So all we're going to do is make this into a solid wall. Now, like I said earlier, we can always add the windows in, which is what we're going to do. But it's just a little bit easier to kind of make the wall first and then get rid of the blocks that you don't need instead of trying to work through thin air and trying to make everything work around it. So we're just going to stack it all the way up until it's even with this up here. So it should work out just like that. And okay, so that's looking pretty good. So now let's add in our windows. So the windows, we're going to have a two wide window right here. Stack it up to about three. And the window should be four blocks tall. And then on this block, add your upside down court stairs. Uh, let's add another set of windows like that one block away. Do, 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 do. Okay, just like that. Now above this window, we're actually going to have a couple more. And this one is actually going to be three wide. So just like this. Oh, got rid of that one by accident. Again, make sure you add your quartz uh, on top of it, just like that. Now we could add a door that leads to a patio here. Now this door would have to be actually just a little bit. It should be on top of the stone because that's where the floor is going to start for the house. So we're actually going to make it like the front door to the house a little bit. So we're going to need to take out some other materials like our pillar court blocks. Uh, and that mainly is like the only material that we really need. So glass on top of that too. We need to have quartz on top of this with a upside down stair. And connect the two sides with another piece of pillar quartz in the middle. And voila. So basically we're looking pretty good. We could add another two wide window here if we wanted to since we have the perfect amount of space for it and do do oh messed that one up by accident there we go alright so we're looking pretty good you know again I know the back looks really simple but we actually want to keep the back of the house really simple anyways so we're actually gonna add one more big window here now this window is gonna be five wide so we're actually gonna make it right here so do do just like this that's three so that's four and then five all right, and then we're just gonna stack it up. Just like all the other windows, it's gonna be the exact same with our upside down pillar court stairs, or not pillar court stairs, just court stairs, I guess would be the real name of it. All right, and to stack this up, connect the two together like this. For this three wide window, make sure you add in a pillar here for fences. And voila, this is what the back of our house should look like when it's all said and done. Because again, really simple design is what we want, and that's exactly what we have. So for this here, we're actually going to turn it back a little bit, about three more blocks, and have it come over and connect with this side here. And I'm actually thinking maybe extend it out back one more block, so it's four, and then have it come over and connect. So just like this, and then we just stack these up. Perfect. Alrighty. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. This will be a solid wall. So basically next part, we're going to finish up the outside of this house and start to get working on the interior, hopefully. And real quick, we are going to add a window here. But before we do that, we need to figure out where the roof for this is going to be. Because as you noticed, right here is actually pretty open and we're actually going to add a roof. So what we're going to do is take out your quartz slabs with your materials for your roof. We're going to start it right here, just like this, extend out one block from the corner of the house and to see where it ends. So just take out your stairs and just start working your way up with your stairs here. Now if you don't want to actually use stairs, what you could actually do is just do something like this instead and kind of alter between the two every now and then. And what this does is it just kind of adds a little bit more feature to it and makes it to where it's not as steep. So then when we finish off like this on the top, as you notice the stairs and the actual roof itself isn't as steep. Now another way around this, if that looks a little bit too weird to you, 
is which it does look kind of weird but one of the easiest ways around that is basically just adding slabs going over and connecting so instead of using stairs at all we're just going to use slabs which is really easy all you're going to do is the exact same design you would for a stair but you're just using slabs now so just go up with your slabs do 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 until it connects with the actual uh side of the house that we want it to connect to so right here we can get rid of that because that's going to be in our way and it should connect right there perfect now that's our roof now when you come over to the sides what we're going to do is on these gaps just place uh pieces in there in between and that should solve that problem uh and now we can actually add in our windows so the windows are going to go right here we're going to make this one three wide and we're actually going to have two of them so one two three and let's actually make it to where there's a three black gap in between each window. So we're, all you're going to do is just add in your upside down court stairs with, we need to of course add in our dark oak wood fences in between here to kind of finish off the window and voila. So there we go. The outside of our house is complete besides like right over here, which we will basically just make into a solid wall. And let's actually just do that now to kind of get rid of it and just take care of it. And then we're going to call it quits for this part because we're actually running a little bit longer than usual than I would rather like I want to keep them around like maybe 10 minutes, uh, 15 at max, but we're at around 16 minutes right now. So I want to kind of hurry up and get this done. So all we're going to do is make this into a solid wall. Now, when we get to the interior, we can always decide to add more windows in if we want. But the reason I'm not adding any windows now is because I want to see how the interior of this house is going to work out first. And then, like we said, we can always add in those pieces later. All right, so we just finished that off. And all right, so I will see you guys tomorrow for part three of this house. But so far, I think we're looking pretty good. It's looking better than I expected it to be. So I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye, everybody.